When you hear Palawan, you'll immediately think of white powdery sand, beautiful beaches and scenic islands. In today's video, we'll be exploring the magnificent islands of Palawan and some of its spectacular tourist destinations. Being the largest province in the country in terms of land area, Palawan is home to roughly 1,780 islands and islets and is blessed with some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. In fact, Palawan in the Philippines has been recognized several times as the best island in the world by international-based travel magazines. This is no surprise since Palawan is rich in natural beauty. Its landscapes and scenery are breathtaking, and it offers the most stunning beaches and resorts. The islands of Palawan might not be the easiest to reach, but it's absolutely one of the best places to explore. Palawan is accessible via sea and air travel. You can take the ferry from Manila going to Palawan, which has around 24 hours travel time, or just an hour and 30 minutes direct flight from Manila to Palawan. One of the top tourist destinations in the province of Palawan is Koran. This is situated in the north of Palawan, and it's famous for its fascinating shipwreck sites. From Manila, you can get to Koran by taking the Super Ferry, which goes to Puerto Princesa once in a week. Or you can easily reach Koran by flying from Manila to Biswanga Airport. One of Koran's best attractions is the shipwrecks of Koran Bay, a series of magnificent trek sites for snorkeling and diving. Some of its popular diving sites include the Akakawa Meru, which is the largest wreck of the Koran Bay. The Olympia Meru. The Akitsushima. Kagyo Meru. And the Arako, which is one of the best treks in the Philippines. The Twin Lagoon is also an awesome attraction to visit when in Koran. This can be crowded at times, but the place is absolutely beautiful with its super clear waters, beautiful corals and amazing scenery. This is a spot you must see and experience in Palawan. Just close to the Twin Lagoon is the Barracuda Lake. The lake offers one of the most unique diving experience in the Philippines. It is a favorite diving spot famous for its thermocline. Maximum depth is around 40 meters, and its water temperature varies at different layers and becomes warmer as you swim deeper. One of Palawan's major tourist attractions and Koran's most popular destination is Kiangan Lake. This is also one of the most photographed spots in the Philippines for its huge limestone formations and perfect crystal clear waters. No doubt it's been dubbed as the clearest and the cleanest lake in Asia. Palawan is not only home to beautiful beaches, but also to gorgeous mountains. Mount Tapias is a 210 meters tall mountain in the small town of Koran. Climbing the more than 700 steps to the top of Mount Tapias will let you witness the amazing view of Koran Island and the most beautiful sunset in the island. The Sieta Picados in Koran is also a popular tourist spot in Palawan. Sieta Picados consists of a group of seven rocky islets laying just a few hundred meters off Koran town's coast. Many tourists consider Sieta Picados as one of the best snorkeling spots in Palawan. The place is a protected area so there's a wide variety of fishes and corals. It's another must-see attraction when in Koran. Apart from Koran, the El Nido in Palawan is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Philippines for both local and international tourists. This first-class municipality in the province of Palawan is even recognized as one of the most beautiful places in the world. Thanks to its pristine white sand beaches, vibrant coral reefs, and fascinating limestone cliffs. The most common way to get to El Nido from Manila is by flying to Puerto Princesa International Airport and then taking a van going to El Nido, although you can also take a direct flight from Manila to El Nido at a more expensive cost.
With the innumerable tourist attractions of El Nido, the Noctan Beach is one of its primary attractions. This gorgeous beach is big enough and has several shops and places to eat. Just like any other favorite spots, the Noctan Beach can also be very busy, but it is definitely worth a visit. Another favorite beach destination around El Nido is the Leo Beach. This is very close to the Leo Airport. The beach also has plenty of restaurants, and the place is very clean. Its beautiful view, swaying palm trees and clear turquoise waters, makes the place very relaxing. Las Cabanas Beach is also a very easy-to-find beach in El Nido. The beach is just a few minutes away from El Nido's main town, and it's very popular among many tourists. The place has a lively atmosphere and has plenty of bars and shops. Las Cabanas Beach is also one of the best spots for sunset viewing in El Nido. Besides the Noctan, Leo Beach and Las Cabanas Beach, there are still plenty of other beautiful beaches, with easy access from the El Nido town, like Seven Commandos Beach and the Korong Korong Beach, which are also worth visiting. For adrenaline junkies, hiking to the top of Terao Cliff during sunrise is a must when visiting El Nido. The entire climb to the Terao Peak might only take about 30 minutes, but getting there can be dangerous and very tough as you will be climbing up sharp limestone rocks. Just make sure to wear comfortable shoes when climbing the Terao Cliff and you will be rewarded with the spectacular view of Bakwit Bay when you reach the peak. Shimizu Island is another great spot in El Nido for snorkeling. The island is full of beautiful and colorful fishes and corals which makes the snorkeling experience spectacular and has crystal clear water which is perfect for swimming and capturing great photos. The only way to visit the fascinating Shimizu Island is by booking an island hopping tour. Also situated in the west part of El Nido are two lagoons which offers beautiful scenery. The beautiful crystal clear water, incredible cliffs, and captivating caves of the small lagoon in Manalak Island can be entered by swimming through the small gap of giant limestone rocks or with the use of a kayak. The big lagoon on the other hand is equally as beautiful as the small lagoon. Renting a kayak for an hour will only cost you about $5, but it's worth every penny. Although it's no longer a secret as the place is already popular and sometimes crowded, the secret lagoon is still a must-visit for its extraordinary view. The lagoon is also situated in Manalak Island, and it's one of the highlights when you book an island hopping tour in El Nido. When in Palawan, do not also miss to witness the fascinating beauty of El Nido's hidden beach which is found in Matinlok Island. This was also included in the 30 best beaches in the world by an international travel magazine. Just like Shimizu Island, the small lagoon, big lagoon, secret lagoon and the hidden beach are all part of a boat tour and can only be accessed by booking an El Nido Island hopping tour. When in Palawan, its capital Puerto Princesa is clearly worth exploring. The beautiful city is recognized as one of the cleanest and greenest cities in the Philippines, and it is also the gateway to other famous tourist destinations like El Nido as it houses its own international airport. Puerto Princesa is most famous for its underground river, or the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park which was voted as one of the new seven wonders of the world in 2012. The underground river is located in Sabang, which is two hours' drive away from the city center of Puerto Princesa. The fascinating cave has many beautiful rock formations and with thousands of bats living in it. Visiting the underground river of Puerto Princesa is definitely one of the most exciting experience when visiting Palawan.
There are still many other beautiful spots in Puerto Princesa apart from the famous underground river. The Ugong Rock Adventures is also another exciting experience when in Puerto Princesa, which offers activities like caving, spelunking, trekking, and ziplining. The place is a must side trip before or after visiting the underground river since it is just a few kilometers away. Also a very popular tourist attraction in Puerto Princesa is the Honda Bay. There are several attractions to see in this gorgeous island. This includes the Starfish Island which is home to various starfishes of different colors and sizes. It also has the Luli Island, Pandan Island and Kari Island which are all blessed with white sand, clear waters and great for swimming and snorkeling. The Honda Bay of Puerto Princesa is absolutely the perfect place for relaxation. Nigtaban Beach is another beautiful beach destination in Puerto Princesa, with gorgeous views and scenery. The beach may not be suitable for snorkeling as there are no corals or fishes, but it is perfect for surfing and island hopping. When visiting Palawan, do not also miss to check the Puerto Princesa City Baywalk Park. This is great for an early morning jog, afternoon walk and a nice evening stroll. This is also the perfect place to capture great photos and enjoy the local culture. Outside of these popular tourist destinations, Coran, El Nido and Puerto Princesa, Palawan still has other many amazing attractions to explore. The Amampalo in Palawan is one of the most luxurious resorts in the Philippines located in a private island known as Pamalacan. The island is quiet, water is crystal clear, and has a beautiful white sand beach front. Villas are also well attended, very clean and massage at the Aman Spa is very relaxing. You can get to Amampolo by booking the private scheduled flights at the Amampolo Manila Lounge which costs $495 per adult and $295 per child for a round-trip flight. Besides the Puerto Princesa Underground River, another UNESCO declared World Heritage Site in Palawan is the Tubataha Reefs National Park. Tubataha Reef lies in the middle of the Sulu Sea, which is approximately 150 kilometers southeast of Puerto Princesa City. This spectacular underwater world is home to over 1,200 marine species, including corals, sharks, fishes, sea turtles, dolphins and whales. From Puerto Princesa, it takes around 10 hours to get to Tubataha by boat, and it's only attempted by scuba divers from mid-March to mid-June. The Port Barton of San Vicente in Palawan is not so popular among tourists which makes it a quieter and a more laid-back version of El Nido. The small village is home to stunning beaches with a number of great sites to snorkel. Island hopping, swimming with the turtles, and exploring the nearby waterfalls, Bigahu Falls and Pamuayan Falls are just some of the best things to do in Port Barton. All these spectacular tourist destinations of Palawan just proves that it's really more fun in the Philippines. The incredible white sand beaches, beautiful lakes and waterfalls, amazing dive sites, crystal clear waters, and many species of flora and fauna makes the island of Palawan one of the world's best places to explore. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of our future videos. Thank you for watching.